Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a very unique product type to review with you, one that I have never reviewed before and one you might not even have known existed. It's called a drinkable and as the name suggests, it is meant to be drank to it. There is a lot of upcoming and new product types out there and drinkables has been making a surge in the marketplace specifically with real marijuana infused drinkables it's supposed to take the place of traditional after work uh, beverages that you may choose to consume whether that be beer or hard seltzer or maybe a mocktail cocktail whatever have you but this is supposed to give you a much quicker high and it is supposed to require less that you drink of it to feel any kind of effects. There are several companies that offer drinkables, but in one of the comments that you guys had left me and that I read, you requested 3G. I am very pleased to inform you that that is the brand of the product we'll be trying today. It is the 3G Pink Lemonade Delta 8 Drink Enhancer. This has 25 milligrams of Delta 8 THC and it is super, super lightweight. So try to keep this out of your kitchen if at all possible, because I can very easily see this being confused with some of the other powdered packet types of uh, drink enhancers. So keep that in mind if you're carrying, uh, I believe this comes in a four pack. I could be mistaken, but there is definitely some... Um, some trepidation when it comes to storing this if you do have a shared household. Now I wanted to make this experience as authentic and untampered with as possible so I have here a eight ounce glass here and some water that we'll be using for our demonstration if you will. The instructions on the back it says to add water or add to water or any other drink. That's all it says. It doesn't say anything about eight ounces. Should it be to, let's say, orange juice or soda? I imagine this would go pretty well with, say, seltzer water or maybe some kind of, I would say, cold tea maybe, if that's a thing. Um, it doesn't specify if it should be used in hot or cold, so I'm guessing maybe both. And if y'all try this and use hot water, please let me know how it works. I only have one of these. I believe they do come in either a three or four pack. I, I just, I only have this one here. So there is a, a very concerning fact of, since you don't know how quickly this will kick in because it's not an edible, it's not an inhalable, and it's not a sublingual. This is quite literally meant to be drank to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get our water here. I'm gonna fill up this glass here. And this, I, I would have thought it came with a full tab and it does not. So I have my handy dandy scissors here and we're just gonna cut this open in here. The smell, oh my. That smells just like the powdered pink lemonade from my childhood, which I think was either old time or country time pink lemonade. We got it in bulk from, from Costco. That is exactly what this brings back, very nostalgic. Very, very nice, okay. So I'm gonna hold this up to the camera here just so you can see me pour it in here. It's not quite as pink as I thought it would be. It's a little bit more pinkish orange. And I do have my hands dry here. Save the turtles. Gonna give that a nice mixy mix. The color is really pretty. This reminds me of like a guava, mango, lemon type of drink that I, I imagine I would enjoy. Um, but it's it's decidedly light orange-ish pink. Oh, and that smells so sugary sweet. That smells lovely. So rather than taking a sip directly from the glass, I'm going to do both. I have a straw, which I've read that using a straw will enhance the taste just because of the way that your 
nose, mouth, and throat work. I believe it's supposed to have a better flavor, so I am going to take one sip here, and we'll review that, and then I'll start off with the straw. I may have used too much water because the taste is very watery, but there's also a very nice hint of pink lemonadiness, if you can understand that. So now we're going to use the straw. I will say that using the straw has allowed me to taste more of the bitterness towards the end of the swallow. And there are still some powder granules left at the bottom, which I, I'm stirring just to try to get all that mixed up there. And we'll try this again. It's not exactly what I would have imagined my childhood drink to taste like, the, the sweet pink lemonade. There's definitely a tartness, very light sourness. And I do have a bit of the hemp aftertaste on the back of my, my tongue there. It doesn't leave a coating, which I am surprised and happy about. But there is that it, it is a sourness mixed with a hemp aftertaste. So I would recommend having this with probably a meal just as like a side beverage to kind of rid your mouth of the sour hemp flavor at the end. But this is very, very um agreeable and i do enjoy the taste of this just i was expecting a little bit more of a sweetness and i'm getting more of a tart tangy sour punch one last bit here with the straw there's a little bit of the sugar crystals left on the bottom there. I'm trying to get all of it. Excuse me. All done. The time now is 11.05. I'm sorry, 11.09. I'm going to pause the video and from what I have read about, the drinkables take anywhere from 30 minutes to 45 minutes to kick in, so it should be noticeably less time than an edible and I would not say quite as fast as like say a sublingual or a inhalable just because your body still has to digest it process it but it should be faster being that it's a liquid we shall return in a I'm gonna about half an hour to 45 minutes or so and we'll see how we feel table <laughs> Read the directions, and directly you'll be directed in the right direction. <laughs> Drink me. All right. It has actually been a little over an hour since I took my last couple of sips of the Delta 8 Drink Enhancer by Fricci. It's a very interesting high in that I feel like it could be more intense, but I also feel like it's peaked, and it, it seems a little mellow, and then it can it can sway a little bit. This is a very clear high. I feel um, much more observant and much more alert than some of the other um, types of products I've had from 3G. As a drink enhancer, I can definitely see this being a very lazy day off of work kind of enjoyment, and I do see why they promote this as something that can be used in alternation to, as alternatives to alcoholic beverages, adult alcoholic beverages. There is a very noticeable weighted feeling for my eyes. Like my eyelids feel very, very heavy and a little dry. And that could be just because the hour is late and I'm feeling a little bit more tired than I thought. I have a very light tingling in the, the top of my cheeks here and a very little bit on my arms, but Aside from that, it's very mellow. I wouldn't describe the body high as being intense and warm and heavy weighted blanket type feeling that I've described before. I feel a very light dry mouth and I did take a sip of water before I had turned the camera back on. I also don't have any um, couch lock. 
I don't feel any difficulty in expressing my thoughts or connecting my thoughts together before I speak. This is a very clear, I wouldn't quite say energetic because while I'm not couch locked, I really don't have a desire to move around. I, I do feel a sense of calmness, but it's not like the warm, drowsy euphoria, euphoria that you sometimes feel on the more indica-based strains. I'm actually not sure if this is more sativa-based, indica-based, or a blend of both as a hybrid. It's not something that I saw mentioned on the product packaging, but from how this feels, and your experience might be different, this feels like a sativa, and at very least, a sativa hybrid. I'm going to stop the video now, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope to have another drinkable product review in the upcoming reviews. It just takes some time to actually find these types of products and then be able to learn more about it and more openly and easily share with you guys some of the experiences that I am expecting and did experience. So I hope you'll check in with a couple of my next videos where I'll be reviewing some of my favorite product type gummies. And additionally, my probably second favorite is an inhalable because you just take a couple of hits, five minutes the effects kick in, and it's really great for when you don't want to wait a long time for the effects to kick in. And this particular one took about an hour or so to really feel the effects, so not something you're really wanting to wait for if you're just wanting an instant relaxation, but we'll get to those in due time. We hope to see you there. Thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.